Hey guys! <laughs> this is so weird. I've never done this without my sisters, so it's kind of bizarre. But today, I am going to be doing a hair tutorial because a lot of you have asked for it, which is funny to me because once you see what I do, you're gonna laugh. This is my natural hair. It's a little crazy. I just kind of let it go crazy, just embrace it, right? If I want to curl my hair, if I know I want to curl my hair, the next day, I will uh, wash it at night and then put it up in a towel for like 10 minutes and then take it out of the towel and not touch it, like not brush it or anything. And then I sleep on it wet and I just kind of let it air dry and I just roll everywhere on my pillows and then it turns out a little crazy, but it's helpful for me to curl because then I can kind of see where my hair is naturally going. So usually I use this first, it just helps because my hair is kind of frizzy. So it's this Chi Silk Infusion, but it's really sad because I think I'm out, but let me try. This is like my favorite stuff. I use it to straighten my hair too. And you really don't need a lot because it is like an oil. You don't want to make your hair super oily. But I just kind of grab it wherever my hair usually goes, kind of frizzy. On the ends. I use this little guy. I mean, pin, whatever it is, a little wand. It's on 356. That's almost the temperature of my cookies. So I start in the front and I grab it in smaller pieces like this and just wrap it around my little wand just for a couple seconds and then I pull on it because I don't want it to be super super tight. You can also brush them out. For my front pieces I don't go all the way to my roots when I wrap it around. It just frames your face a little better. And then right about here I start going further up. I'm trying to like do this, this little baby mirror. It's really difficult. I think after living in a couple places where it's just so humid, you just gotta forget about having perfect hair. So I don't really care if I've got some like scragglies up there. It's fast if you are running late for school or something or work. And you can just like touch up the top, you don't really have to worry about the bottom layers. I do that all the time. It's funny watching my sister's tutorials too because I don't know how they do their hair and makeup and we do it so differently from each other. It's really interesting. So the back, I get this like weird bump right here. I think a lot of us do, it's like bedhead. <laughs> so in the back I go a little further up just to confuse everybody if I have a big bump in my hair if it's supposed to be a curl. <laughs> it looks like a curl and nobody asks questions. <laughs> Underneath, I grab it in bigger chunks because it saves me some time. If you don't love like big mom hair, I love big mom hair, you know, just poofy, whatever. If you don't love your hair super big, I would suggest just using a bigger curling iron or a curling wand. I don't know if they make these in different sizes. I'm sure they do. If you use bigger ones, you'll get more loose curls. So this part is always questionable. I just kind of grab in a little bit bigger chunks over here and I start about halfway. I don't hold it as long because I don't want like super, super tight ones in the front. Literally, this is what I do. My whole head. <laughs> it's nothing crazy. But it made me laugh that you guys wanted to see a tutorial. <laughs> okay, well, I think I'm almost done. I just kind of like check. I always get like this random, perfectly straight piece of hair <laughs> in the back. <laughs> Sometimes I miss it, and so my whole head is like super poofy and curly, except for this one piece that's super straight. <laughs> Sometimes I gotta like fix the ends too, because the ends can go, just get kind of straight from the wand, so you can just go back through. Can you just curl in a little bit more? This is my last piece. Okay, well, I think that's that. I do you use hairspray? Sometimes. If you want it to fall out a little more, don't spray your hair. But I just bought this. I really like it. Set me a beautiful bold hold hairspray. Okay, herbal essence. It smells good. 
So when I spray my hair, it's kind of weird too. I just go crazy and then I run my fingers through it. Keeps the frizz down. It keeps your hair from getting like crunchy. <laughs> the herbal essence um, is good. It usually doesn't make your hair super crunchy and gross. Never notice how much hairspray I use. So you do these kinds of things. Okay, well, that's that. <laughs> that's how I do my crazy hair. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed learning how to uh, sleep on your hair wet and then uh, curl it the most basic way possible. I love you guys. I hope that you enjoy uh, more tutorials. Haley has a hair tutorial and Ali has a lovely makeup tutorial. Let us know what else you want to see and we will, we will do that for you. Thanks guys! Bye! Push it down before it, there you go. <laughs> Grab me a screwdriver while you're at it.